Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video is on keratinoderma. It is described as a yellow or orange discoloration of the skin, that unlike jaundice, does not often affect the sclerae. This is often found over nasolabial folds, palms, and soles. This picture shows keratinoderma on the left hand, and a normal right hand. The associated conditions are, excess vegetable intake, and less common ones such as, nephrotic syndrome, diabetes mellitus, hypothyroidism, hyperlipidemia, porphyria, anorexia nervosa, and liver disease. For its mechanism, keratinoderma results from keratine deposition in the stratum corneum. The three main mechanisms are, excess intake of foods rich in beta-carotene, hyperlipidemia, and failure to convert carotene into vitamin A in the liver. Carotene is found in many fruits and vegetables. It is absorbed and eventually converted to vitamin A. Carotene absorption is enhanced by lipids like beta-lipoprotein, bile acids, and pancreatic lipase. Thus, anything that increases absorption or decreases conversion to vitamin A may lead to hyperkeratinemia and keratinoderma. These are the mechanisms for each associated condition. In nephrotic syndrome, raised lipids will enhance beta-carotene absorption. In diabetes and hypothyroidism, hyperlipidemia and impaired conversion of beta-carotene to vitamin A raises levels of carotene. In anorexia, the mechanism could be due to diet heavy in beta-carotene foods such as carrots, or acquired defect in metabolism of vitamin A or decreased catabolism of beta-lipoprotein. In liver disease, there is failure to convert beta-carotene to vitamin A in summary. Carotinoderma is considered harmless and finding the underlying cause is valuable only to avoid complications of that disease. That's all for this video. Thank you.